laptop. Later na, gamit ako laptop sa gawas ko. Ikaw ba lagi mag-ito? No. I can't start. Still, ako na lang yung mami lo. Hindi ko na lang yung mami lo. Dali na po ka-story ha. I don't Before we start, I just want to make a little disclaimer on the things I'm about to say. So one, these are only the things I've learned from other people. These are not my original ideas because I don't think there is really an original idea. But yeah, second is <clears throat> the purpose of this video is for my future self. I hope you're not lazily sitting down there and try not to do anything go out stop this video and go out please don't be lazy Christina and uh, second I th they say if you want to retain what you learn you have to share it with others and these are just things that I find helpful for myself on how to become successful not just financially successful but uh, those little wins that we have every day nga makatabang sad unta to have a life na life so deep but yeah just something to wala lang <laughs> yeah okay so just a little back story uh, the other day, I was talking with my sister and then I came up with a question na if you have one thing or a characteristic na ganahan ka i-develop, what would it be? And then, I surprisingly, I came up with an answer that I did not really expect, which is grit. I don't even know the word. I mean, I know the word, but the meaning, I didn't know. So not knowing the full meaning of the word i search in google and then this is what i this is what i came up no this is the answer i did not came up with the answer google did not in google okay but yeah grit is a positive non-cognitive trait based on an individual's perseverance of effort combined with the passion for a particular long-term goal or end state. Wagi hapon ko kasabot! So I searched it on YouTube and then the hug results and then there's one uh, particular book that stood out. Actually, isa na dyan ako nakitaan. Uh, it was a book written by this book written by Angela Duckworth, uh, titled Grit, The Power of Passion and Perseverance. And then uh, I've watched the videos about the book and why Angela started the, the research or the idea of uh, grit. Angela Duckworth started the research hoping to find the answer of, with, of, with, Basta, ang pangutana is why people are successful. It's very tempting to think that people are successful because of talent. So if na ay someone nga uh, maayo na kahimtang, people would tend to say, oh, maayo haniya, oy, maayo, maayo. Uh, it's not about hard work. That's our thinking. And then we discredit the value of effort on what we do and then if we think of it it's not really 
the person's talent that made him or her successful it's the effort the continuous effort that she puts on a daily basis because even if you are talented if talent does not work hard wala ragi hapon if you want to develop grit you have to have the passion plus perseverance then you can have grit so first is passion and under passion is clarity of interest what are you interested is it like being an athlete or art creating videos or doing business don't let people influence you of thinking that you are passionate about this thing and then imoha is uh ka. it shouldn't be like that it should be you first knowing this is what you love to do and then you execute you must have the clarity of your interest you must know what you are interested on doing what you really love doing and then second is you must know where you are at the moment like are you a beginner on this thing are you an expert and then third is you must know where you want to go using that passion if ever nga wala ka kayo ba muhang passion you just try new things don't be scared to meet new people because sometimes people give you or introduce you to a certain activity and then you suddenly like felt na oh this is what i want to do my whole life char don't be a lemon sitting on a couch it you won't find your passion doing the same thing every day just go out try new things don't be scared kaya na nimo so second is purpose so people who are purpose driven they tend to wake up more motivated so if maski pa og ganahan ka sa imong gibuhat if you don't see the value of what you're doing eventually ma fade ra gihapon imong interest so you won't be greedy so you have to find purpose because if dili ka purpose driven sa imong ganahan buhaton you won't find the courage to continue so if wala da ka kahibaw sa imong uh, purpose you have to find role model that will inspire you example if um ganahan ka mag business and then you don't know the purpose of the business i want to be like Gary Vaynerchuk nga because of his like multimedia business he's able to reach out to people who are uh, also struggling to start their business so maybe pwede na him on inspiration or purpose to help others because as what Einstein said life with purpose is the life worthwhile but if you don't know then uh, you just take it slowly you don't have to figure things out before you start you sometimes you have to start and things eventually unfold and then you take it daily the next day again same thing and then when you look back you would be like oh I've gone a long way so at least you've been doing what you like to do with the hope of helping people so moto siya under passion so one is uh, clarity of interest second is purpose the third thing is practice which is under perseverance so if even if you're good at something you still have to improve yourself so whatever it takes I need to improve and then um, other people would do to do list so they can have the daily commitment or time allotment for that specific uh, passion example uh, you can make it as your highlight of the day practice for 
a certain period of time to achieve this goal. When you practice, you have to have a stretch goal. If you're, for example, if you're a swimmer, in two months I have to finish a lap at this period of time. And then second, when you're practicing, you have to ask feedback. You don't measure it by your own value because lahit lahit manta. So it's better to have a coach that will push you more to do more. Someone who can give you an honest feedback. So you, on the next day, you know where to, on what area you can improve on. And then you keep doing that. And then eventually you just improve sm small wins it's always the small wins na you don't see it gradually happening but if you look back uh, a month a year there sh there is an improvement and that's what matter i think personally okay so that's under your practice second big idea under perseverance is growth mindset so if you have the growth mindset, uh, you tend to persevere and seek out new challenges to help you improve yourself. You have to accept the fact that there is always a room for improvement because if you think that you are better in doing that, you stop practicing and then you become compliance and then if imuhan ng ipadayon kay mas mulas, imuhang value sa imuhang self, imuhang self worth is going down. So that's not how you do it. You should seek ways on how to improve your yourself. If so, if you want to develop grit from the inside, again you have to cultivate your interest, engage in overall practice, connect our work to a wider purpose and develop growth mindset okay before i forget there is a very important formula in the book so effort multiplied by talent equals skill skill times effort equals achievement so the effort that you apply each day counts as twice towards the achievement so talent is never enough Mm, there's actually another book about that this one I don't know by uh, John Maxwell if I have time or if I become gritty of doing this then maybe I'll make another video so if you want to achieve something you have to have effort 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 okay before I end this video, I just want to share this quote, which is very insightful by Freddy. I won't even try to read that. So he say, our vanity, our self-love promotes the cult of genius. For if we think of genius as something magical, we are not obliged to compare ourselves and find ourselves lacking. If we continue to think na success or achievement is because of talent, we will always make this as an excuse not to work hard. So we must think that grit, grit, great, grit is the key to greatness. Bye. Yay!